Hey everybody, this is Matt Dickinson with Grander Marine. I'm standing in front of the new 360cc Sailfish. This is a brand new boat for Sailfish and uh, we're here to show you and tell you all about it. Uh, this is our stock boat. It's gray with a white bottom. We're going to show you the in and outs of the boat so you can see the quality and the standard features that the boat's coming with. This particular model is 36 feet long. Total length with motors is around 38.2. We're using around 400 gallons of fuel uh, capacity, 42 gallons of fresh water. We have 11 foot, two inch wide beam, and uh, the boat maxes out at 1,050 horsepower. We're currently running triple 300 Yamahas, which pushes the boat extremely well, gets on plane quickly, and the dead Dead rise is a 24 to 22 degree dead rise, so it cuts through the water extremely smooth. I'm going to take a few minutes and just walk through the boat with you, so y'all come on and if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Alright, so I'm at the back of the boat now, and as you can see, I have the 300 Yamahas. These are Yamaha white. The lower units are not painted because when you're running, it's going to knock out, uh, knock off all the color so they don't paint the lower units. Uh, really nice layout back here. The transom's extremely high up. The boat comes standard with underwater lights. As you can see, I have a really nice ladder on the uh, starboard side. It's a four-step ladder. There is also a dive door, which I'll show you in a few minutes, that also has a built-in ladder. Um, what's really cool about this boat is, is if I'm in the water swimming, I can come back here, come up my ladder, and I can change my audio. I can change it to Bluetooth or FM radio. And then when I pull up to the dock and I'm trying to get my uh, stuff out and I need to flush my motors, standard on this boat is a flushing system to where I can hook up my engine flush uh, port and then I can hit the button and it's gonna flush all my motors. I'm not climbing off the back. The family's not having to climb off and hook the water hose up. There's none of that anymore. So technology's come a long way. And through that, you know, it's pretty nice that you can hit one button, flush all three motors and go back inside. So let's go inside and we'll talk more about this boat. All right, so we're inside the boat now, and as you can see, this boat has a lot of amenities. You have a extremely nice tackle center with a live well. I have a pull out for a sink. I also have a built-in electric grill that I can grill offshore if I want to. It all runs on an inverter system, so you're not having to worry about firing up a generator or anything like that. And then when I'm not using it, I can fold this down, out of the way. Some people like to sit up high. They can sit back here. They can uh, prep uh, tackle. They can prep food, whatever you want to do. So the tackle center alone, the pull out drawers. I mean, for a 36 foot boat, there's not much in its class that's going to offer this much uh, tackle and storage. So that's extremely nice for us who like to fish and also entertain. Back to the uh, port side, we've got a nice dive door. This dive door, I can push a button. I can open it up. I've got a built-in ladder in the deck, which is extremely nice. You can be swimming, you can pull it up, you can open it. You have a pull-out little handle right here to give you and the family some stability when you're coming in. You're not, if it's rocking, you have access to get in and out. Uh, Selfish did a really good job on this boat. They thought about a lot of little things. They just didn't build a boat, throw a bunch of stuff in it. They had the right engineers build the boat with quality, fit and finish, and they also wanted to make sure that, you know, even just thinking of a little handle for when your kids are coming in the boat, they want you to feel safe. This door, two seconds, I can close it. I have bolsters all the way around the back of the boat, so it's really comfortable, really easy for if you're fishing back here or you're trying to get bait out of the live well. I've got a thick, probably two inch piece of uh, bolster that I can lean up against and I'm not beating my knees against the side of the boat. Also, some great options that this boat has to offer is the sure shade that comes out of the back. This shade system is built into the hard top. So you have a push of a button, I can put this out. I have shade now when I'm prepping my stuff or fishing or if I'm trolling, I can sit up here out of the sun. And when I want to, I'm done with it, I hit a button, it goes right back in the hard top. They also thought about, okay, what else can we do to the hard top? Extra spreader lights, speakers built in. They've got 
this amazing skylight inside right here, which I can open up. I can, it's on shocks that I can open so I can get up, get air, let natural light in. They did that, so it's nice to have a skylight. And then right beside where I'm driving, if I'm trolling, I can control my outriggers. I'm sitting here driving the boat, trolling. It can control my outriggers on both hands. I'm not fighting left to right. If I need to pull something in, I have clear access right here inside the hardtop. Not having to go outside to the gunnels and climb up on the side. I have all that located right here. All right, we're at the bow of the boat. So in the very bow of the boat, you have a large console trunk box. This is a uh, cooler that you can throw a ton of ice, fish, and drinks in. You have a very nice pad up here with armrests right in front of the console, one of the best places to ride. So you're up high, you can see over the boat, you can see over the sides, you have clear visibility, and it's just a comfortable ride. Now, up at the very bow, we have bolsters like I was telling you about before. You have a backrest that will slide into place. When you're not using it, pull up, back in. It serves two purposes. You have a backrest and you have a, a bolster again. So if I'm leaning up here and we're pulling up to the island, I have something to hold on to, but I also have a little bit of a padding. We have a table at the bow, which is electric. It'll come up and down. We also have bow cushion, a bow cushion package. And one thing about a sailfish is the boat is extremely deep for a great comfortable ride, but it's very safe as well. I mean, you have a high gunnel to where if your family or your kids are up here on the side of the boat, I mean, their, their waist is right here at the bolster. So when they're fishing, they're not leaning way over. They're not feeling like they're gonna go over into the water. So very nice, same with the forward seating. The seating is pretty low uh, down in the boat with a high back uh, support. And there's a rail all the way around. Not forgetting your fishing, we do have rod holders at the bow and we have a very large anchor box which you can get to and you'll be able to get to your windlass to clear out line, chain, and all that good stuff so you'll have clear visibility and access to. Um, and as you can see back at the console, I have built-in LED lights, I have built-in spreader light, I have a glass windshield. It's a tailor-made true glass windshield with a vent for air. So when you are driving, you have some airflow that comes in and of course a windshield wiper. Can't go wrong without a windshield wiper. Uh, you have the access to actually hit and put the spray on it to clear off any salt or uh, anything that may mess up your clear visibility. Um, coming back to the back of the boat, the handrail keeps going down. I have rod holders throughout the gunnel, a wide gunnel, which is really nice. And in a few seconds, I'm going to show you the console and show you uh, inside. I'm going to show you what it has, the AC, the inverter system, the paneling. So let's go check that out. So I'm inside the console of this 36 foot sailfish and this is a 36 foot boat, extreme height clearance for your tall customers. We have a, uh, a, wind, um, a mirror right here so if somebody needs to come and get dressed they can see what they're doing. Down below here uh, there's cushions right now but this does make like a little day bed to where you want to come in here and take a rest. It'll fill up this area to where we can lay lay down if we need to and get some rest. Uh, there is AC in here. It will run off an inverter system. Um, you have plenty of storage throughout. We have the head that's located right up underneath this step. We have a very nice high sink to where we can wash our hands. We have plenty of storage paneling for all of our uh, you know electrical. We have pull out yacht style lids and, and finish to the uh, cabinetry. And we also have, that's for your uh, fill for your um, windshield wiper fluid. Back to the paneling, cause that's important. I can open this up and I have extremely easy access to all my battery switches. I can even open that up and get to the back paneling for my electronics. And then up top, I can pull that down. And if, when I put in electronics in, I can get to all my wiring and I can also get to all my switches if something needs to be you know, changed out or if you are doing uh, aftermarket accessories, we can easily get to it. Alright, I'm at the steering wheel. As you can see, 
this layout is absolutely amazing. Three LeBrock chairs, high backs. I have pull-out bolsters. I have armrests sitting at home in your in your lazy boy. It's like driving a boat. Uh, with this, we have a center steering wheel. I have a fold down uh, step so that I'm above my my passengers. I can see over them. I can see over the over the bow. If people are out out front entertaining, sitting, talking, laughing, I'm not telling people to get down. I have clear visibility over the bow and the back of the boat. I can see 360 all the way around, even with the glass windshield. Steering wheel, like I was telling you, is center. I have tilt. I have two AC uh, blowers that'll come out right where I'm driving and I have plenty of room to do 312s, 216s. Um, we leave it as a blank slate so that you can do whatever you want to do. Um, with this, this middle seat will come forward and back with a push of a button. We do have, um, you know, joystick on the boat so you have Optimus joystick so I can use this for docking or I can use this for offshore fishing with sea station I can hit A and C the Optimus gauge is right there in front I can engage my uh, sea station and I can stay on a spot uh, they did a really good job with the layout drink holders all the way around I've got four drink holders I've got my on off switches right below me so I don't have to worry about my passengers hitting my kill switch or messing with me when I'm driving and right above my head right my vision I have my Yamaha gauge so I can control see my RPM my trim my speed my fuel efficiency I can also check you know when I get off the water hey how much uh, time did I put on my motors how much uh, fuel did we burn this Yamaha gauge is right there in front front of me and it's really nice to see um, on this dash we do have a compass right in the center and I have storage right there behind I can pull that I can open it there are USB ports inside so you can charge your cell phone you can it's got different trays so you can put anything from keys wallets cell phones uh, you know and backup um, satellite phone you have all that access right there in the top fold this back down I'm done and that's it uh, this boat's awesome I mean it's really a lot of boat for a 36 foot boat with triple 300 Yamahas uh, from the bow to the motors to the inside of the cabin they did a really good job this boat runs extremely smooth very comfortable um, we'd be happy to answer any questions you have if you want to put them in the comment or call one of our uh, sales professionals we'll be happy to answer any questions for you and hopefully schedule a sea trial so this can be your next boat we appreciate your time we hope you have a blessed day and uh, feel free to give us a call at, in, at grander marine 251-271-0177 thank you and god bless